Well, today I'm going to show you how to compile a program in .NET to run on the Linux. Um, it's the same procedure if you're running Visual Basic.NET or C Sharp. You, you just need a main function or a sub main function. Uh, the thing, the first thing you do is to build, and you see here you get a DLL file instead of an executable. Uh, that's because you have to nowadays publish. Uh, to a folder or other services. We're going to go with a folder here and uh, choose well, a path. I've selected earlier because it's connected to my VMware Workstation shared folder. You get a couple of options here, but the first thing you're going to do is to show all settings. Uh, if you have framework installed on Linux, uh, then you can choose that. If you don't, you can have a self-contained executable. Uh, that contains all the .NET runtime files. Uh, th this option get, makes your executable rather big, so in this case we're gonna use framework because I have that installed already. Target runtime. Uh, you can either have Windows, Linux or OS, OS X. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Linux and not the portable option because portable runs anywhere, but uh, well, Linux x64 we're gonna go with that one. Another thing we're going to do is to produce a single file and not a couple of files because everything is linked and built from scratch. Now we have a profile, we can add more profiles and uh, change them up here, uh, one for Linux or one for Windows, but we're going to go with just a standard Linux uh, profile. We publish that and then we see we get something written to D colon shared. And, uh, that's the console app one. You see here there's a Linux executable, 148 core kilobytes. Move over to Ubuntu and uh, we copy the file from the share folder to test. And uh, we run it and we see the hello world executes perfectly under Linux. So we're using this, you can write code under Linux, Windows and uh, OS X uh, with .NET framework, uh, sorry, .NET Core 6.0. Uh, hope this was useful. Goodbye.